What is going on, guys? So, yeah, we are done. The event is out. I apologize. The event was supposed to come out on Friday and just got um, busy in real life. Had just a couple minor issues. Nothing real big. Just a, a, little, a bunch of little things that added up. So I apologize for the inconvenience. I know that it would have been not a lot better for this to be released on a weekend. Um, you know, so most people can enjoy it. But uh, it will stay up until... Um, I'm thinking, I'm not sure, I haven't decided when I'm going to close it yet, but I know for a fact you'll be able to do it this weekend, so you can uh, look forward to that. Uh, Double Experience is on as well, and since um, since no one really got uh, no one really got to do it on this weekend, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it the full week, but I definitely will have it this weekend, so if you want another Double Experience weekend, there you go. It is still Double Experience on RS3, so we got a no XP waste there. So this is the event. It is, uh, it's, I mean, if you look at the update list, there's not a whole lot there, but it's a lot of, uh, uh, this is pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting, hopefully, you know, I, in terms of events, we've had four so far, and I think two have been good and two have been eh, so hopefully this is one of the good ones and not one of the eh ones. I, I purposely made it kind of good just to, to sort of, uh, you know, keep it, keep, you know, keep it useful and whatnot, so hopefully people will enjoy it. And then there's also some other bug fixes, some other things people have been asking for, like Glory teleporting out of 30 Wilderness. Um, there's a couple, just a couple minor things that you know people have been asking about. I, you know, I always see you guys' suggestions. Even if I don't do your suggestion like right away, don't you know? I, I if you if if you really look at my um, my history on my form account, all of my um, you know all of my uh, history or whatever would be in the, the suggestion section. You know, all my comments and everything. You know, I'm always looking there for new ideas. All right, so. Let's uh, let's get into it. So to get here, just type in colon colon event. Uh, it's pretty simple, and uh, you have a couple things to. There's essentially three things to focus on. So you have the first method, which is skilling method, thieving, is down the ladder. If you're a PVMer, you go up the ladder, and I'll explain that in a bit. But let's uh, go down here. So you have these sarcophaguses and urns and whatnot. The lower level urns are these ones, the um, the ones that look like they have like the handles and whatnot. Those are the lowest tier, which is twenty. Um, these right here are the mid tier, which is a 40, and then this is the grand tier, which is 60. Now, hey, a bandit's cross has a kill. That's nice. Jeez. It's really nice. Most people have gotten the bandit cross from here. Bandit cross is actually kind of OP. Might have to take a look at it. Like I said, I did kind of make this event overpowered, and we'll just make adjustments here and there. Um, it was released about 20 minutes ago. I've already updated the server like 10 times, so it's uh, it's not started off well, but. Uh, nothing major, just, you know, little things we're ad fixing and me just being stupid and forgetting stuff. But, uh, yeah, so the whole, I guess I should probably bank. Let me bank real quick. Alright, so we got ourselves an inventory space. And this is what most people are doing so far. Uh, these little statuettes and uh, scarabs and all that, those actually sell to the shop. So, I know that these people seem to be dropping it. That's one strategy you can always empty, but... It, it will add up over time. I know it's not like amazing, but you can also get stuff like a crystal key. We saw we got a clue box and an invention gear. This is actually invention experience. Boom. Boom. So that is cool right there. Let me uh, just spam click a little bit. You know what? I'll just pause and resume at the end of it. All right, so that's what the full invent looks like. We got the crystal key drop twice. Uh, nice pile of clue box. We actually got two more gears, which is nice. They're not that common... We did just get three in our first inventory, so that's pretty lucky. Honestly, yeah, like I, 199 invention, yeah, most people are probably going to try to grind this as much as they can to get that uh, invention. By all means, go for it. There is a larger tier gear that gives more, but it's only found in the Grand Gold chest. I don't think the mummies drop it. I don't recall if I added that or not. I figured that might be too overpowered. Yeah, I did. I did not add the gear to them, so you do actually have to do the thieving method for it. I felt like the mummy method where you could just AFK, barrage them, that could be way too overpowered. Um, you can also see there are some components. These are the mummies. I guess I can go over the drops. Uh, if you're wondering what the sarcophagus is, it is a pet. It is the mummy pet. It's not a um, like a loot crate or anything. I just I, I was looking at it and I was, think, I was wondering if people might think that. No, it is the pet. There is two pets. There's this pet, and then there's a pet from here. I I you know I I I won't I, I won't even you know hide it. The, the swarm pet is the pet from here. You guys can. Most people, there's a couple people with it already, and you're, you know, you're going to kind of assume, so... Yeah, I'm not going to hide the pets or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, these are the mummy drops. And uh, those tokens, we'll get into those in a bit. Let's go to... I don't know why I'm going that way. I think you actually can use the doors. Not that one, this one. 
That one, yeah. Or Cold and Cold Event, they both work. Uh, so let me get a couple prayer pots real quick. So when you uh, climb up the ladder, you will see some mummies. What is people leaving? Rubies, prayers, and yeah, that's fair enough. So there are a couple spots. I know it looks like this is the only spot, but I added them weirdly. And I'll, I'll, odds are I'm going to have to add more because like there's only a couple people on right now. Uh, that's because it's a Sunday night at 12 a.m. and I did just update. But normally we get around 50, 60, and that might make this place overcrowded, especially since it is multi and you do barrage and whatnot. That was really what the main reason I wanted it. I just wanted some spot to barrage, and it all made sense, and it was all simple enough to do. Really, the hardest part is adding them, but that's super easy. It's just annoying to do, and I'll have to add more. But yeah, there isn't that just that first spot. There's a couple different spots. I'm going to add more as well. But the main thing you're going to... You can barrage, and barrage works here, obviously, you know, but I'm in just in melee gear. Um, so, you can get these stereo tokens from the mummies and from the, the thieving method. And this is the boss. Let me get out of here and I'll show you the boss. You can see the boss's drops. Let me uh, show you them. Scarab. Giant Scarab. These are the drops. You can see, I think I showed this earlier, or at least it was on my screen. The Bandit's Cross is essentially infinite teleports to bandits. But, there's a catch. You have a 1 in, I believe, 6 chance of it breaking. So, um, it's kind of, you know, it's not completely infinite. And then, um, you can see the other drops. There's some cash drops, 10k drops. You can actually get rare and uber components from this, so this is cool. And it is one kill per one token. So we have one token, we're getting one kill. Pray range, and go have a wank because it's AFK. So, that is it for the event. There may be some new stuff to come soon. I'm not sure when it's ending. But uh, stay tuned. There's also some other quality of life updates and whatnot. I'll um, have that in the description below. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I apologize for this being so delayed. It's going to happen. It's happened before. It's going to happen again. You know, you've, people have kind of have come to expect that. But, you know, hopefully, it, hopefully the update is good enough that everybody will be happy with it. And, uh, you know, we'll have done a good job. So let's, uh, let's just get this last kill right here. It does have... It's not that tanky. Really, it's just a nice chill boss for you to AFK. It's m m very similar to the Joker boss. Although, I think the Joker boss could damage you, couldn't it? I don't recall. Either way. I think I feel like with the event bosses, you don't really want something super crazy hard. You want something, um, you know, chill. Five paper traps. I like that. 